Hello everyone, myself Dr. S. Satya, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, SA Engineering College. Today I welcome you for the gate video. Uh, topic is Frequency Domain Analysis of RLC Circuit. So we will start with a simple problem. Uh, convert the current source in figure shown here to a voltage source in the S domain. So this is a basic thing in order to convert a current source to the voltage source. So initially you can see the circuit here. here we, have, we have a current source, a capacitor. This one we need to convert that into voltage source. We know what is the formula for a voltage V is equal to I into R. So here you can see here. So here this uh, current source is converted into the voltage source. Okay. So here you can see the current is 20, uh, 20 S plus 1 by 4 into S. 4, into S, 4 by S is nothing but the capacitor. And here uh, as it is a voltage it has to be in series. The capacitor has to be in the series mode. So this is a basic thing in order to convert a uh, current source to a voltage source. So next thing we are going to see how a voltage source is converted into a current source. So you can say the same uh, thing here at the current source we have uh, given a voltage source 6 by S. In series we have the inductor and the resistor. So this thing is when you are converting that into current source it has to come in parallel. So here the current is parallel to 2S by 7, 7 ohms. S is nothing but it has been converted into S domain. So same way here in the voltage is 6 by S that has to be converted into current. So 6 by S divided by 2S plus 7. After the simplification we will be getting 3 by S into S plus 7 by 2. So this is a basic thing now to convert a current voltage source into current source. So here we can see one problem. Obtain the expression for I1 and I2. Okay, so what is they have given with the initial condition is stored and it, uh, that is installed in the circuit is 0 they have given. So this is the given circuit. Okay, so first, say first step is we need to change that into a S domain pattern. So here inductance 8.4 that has been changed to 8.4 S. Same way here also 10 is changed to 10 S. Here resistor it is as such it is 42 and that resistor is also 48. So here the voltage source is changed as 336 divided by S. Now we need to find the current I1 and I2. So that is our main task. So you can see here. So this is a circuit. Okay. So using the mesh current, using the mesh current we are going to find the equation. So first equation is So you can see here, here you can see the first equation, first loop 336 by S that is into uh, 42 plus 8.4 S into I S. So that is the, in this the first loop you are going to take it, that is 8.4, here we have a resistor, it is 42 ohms. So we have, we are going to add it, 42 plus 8.4 into S minus next one. That is 42 into I2. Here the current is divided right. The branches here I1, here I2. It is divided. So I1 minus I2 will be will be having here that number. What is what is the number that will be having? So we are getting equation as 42 plus 8.4. That is the first loop. The second loop again we are going to write it as 0 equal to minus 42 I plus 90 plus 10 I into S. So we here we got two equations. Now we need to find the uh, currents I1 and I2. So in order to have make it simplify, simplify we are using a Kramer's loop, you, uh, Kramer's method to solve the value for I1 and I2. Okay. So that we all know how to solve the Kramer's. Using the matrix method, you need to write the equation del. That is I1 can be calculated as del 1 by del and I2 is calculated as del 2 by del. Okay. So the del 1 is nothing but the first equation, del 2 is for second one and we are going to divide the determined value del here. And afterwards, after finding the partial fraction for this equation, we are finding the value of I1 is equal to 15 by S. 14 by S plus 2, 1 by S plus 1. We all know how to solve the partial fraction. That is A by S plus B by S plus 2 
plus C by S plus 12. So we are going to find the value of A, P and C. So that means we have calculated here 15, 14 and 1. For I1, same way for I2. 7, 8.4 and 1.4 we are calculated for I2. Again, after this, we are going to find the inverse Laplace transform. We all know what is the inverse Laplace transform for 15 by S. That is 15. If it is S plus 2, it is E power minus 2T. It is plus 2 means E power minus 12T. Similarly for I1. So at last we have con conclude, concluding by finding the expressions of I1 and I2 using the inverse Laplace transform. So this is a one more problem. So determine the current for i greater than t greater than or equal to 0 if initial conditions is i of 0 equal to 1. So they are given the initial condition here and they have asked us to find the value of the current. So here in this, here we are going to see here this is a given circuit 10 volt 14 and 2 millimeter. What as I told you before we need to find the s parameter s you have to convert that circuit into s domain. So after finding it we will be having 10 by S and here 4 ohms, 2 years and here this is nothing but the current, okay, voltage, minus 1, uh, my, uh, plus or minus 2 into I of 0, 2 is nothing but the inductor and I of 0 is the initial current, initial current given is 0, 1, okay, so 2 into I of 0 that is equal to 2. So for this loop, we are going to find the uh, Kitzer's voltage law. As we know, 10, minus, 10 by S minus 4I minus 2SI plus 2 equal to 0. So after simplification, we will be getting I is equal to 5 by 5 plus S divided by S into S plus 2. Okay, so this is one equation. You can see here, S domain circuit with series initial current. Meaning is that here we are going to current the connect the current in series with the inductor and we have calculated what is the I. So next, next uh, circuit, same thing, we are going to connect it to parallel. Okay, so parallel means we will be having the current. So inductance parallel means current source we will be having. So I of 0 by S. As we know I of 0 is equal to 1. So you will be having 1 by S. Yes. Okay, so as we know this uh, equation, okay. Um, so same thing here this loop and this loop we are going to take uh, we know here you can see i is a total current so this loop is i1 current and this loop is i2 current so i2 is equal to 1 by s because i2 is flowing here so this current is 1 by s now uh, we are going to apply a Kirchhoff's voltage now to the mesh so initially 10 by s here it divides right i1 and here i2 so it divides into 2 so 4 i1 minus 2 s i1 plus 2 s into this term so this is the first equation as from the figure we can say that i1 equal to i and i2 equal to 1 by s so these two values are substituted in this equation and we are getting this equation here 10 by s minus 4 i minus 2 s like this at last we have the equation i is equal to s plus 5 divided by s plus 2 Again, we are going to find the inverse Laplace for the, for the given equation and this is the current equation when it is connected in parallel. Okay. Same way, in the previous one, if you are going to connect that in the series, we are having the current equation as 5 by 2 minus 3 by t e power minus 2t. So both the currents are same, you can see here. When it is connected in series or in parallel, we have the same current flow in the circuit. So this is one problem. So this is one more method, you can see the question here, uh, the switch in the circuit shown have, in the shown in the figure has been in the position for a long time at 5 greater than or equal to 0 and the switch is thrown to the position B and find the current as the rational fraction of S and find the time domain expression for the current. So that is the question here. So you can see here. Okay, so the question what it implies, the switch in this shown, we have two position of the switch, A and B here. What they have told, the switch is at the position 1 and it has been switched to 
B they have given here right so when the switch is at the position 1 what happens these two capacitors will be charged with the whole current of 100 volt so that is only given here when the switch is at the position for a long time both the capacitor are charged to 100 volt okay so when the position is changed to B what happens it, uh, it will be the circuit will be changed like this okay when we are going to connect it like this what happens this current this loop we are going to take that and that one we are going to write in the case domain okay so this capacitor 2.2 microfarad so that is written as 1 by c1 as voltage and voltage source is v1 by s again the capacitor and again the voltage source v2 by s and resistor what we are having here so that is 5k clear so this is the s domain of the particular function so already we have seen in the circuit uh, we need to write the equation the current flowing through it you can just you remember this 1 by c1s uh, v1 of s i c c2 of s v2 of s we have and the resistor current as we know the uh, voltage keep shows voltage now we can write the equation left side will be having the voltage v1 of v1 s by s plus v2 of s so that will be equal to the current flowing through the capacitor that is 1 by c1 of s i plus 1 by c2 of s i plus i clear so i'm going to take that as a common here i'm going to take v1 1 by s as common and here 1 by s i'm uh, taking that as common 1 by s 1 by 0.2 power 6 and same way i'm, I'm substituting the value of the capacitor 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 and the resistor value is 0 0.5 sorry 5 okay so 5k i'm going to take it now I've, as i've taken s is common here i'll be having s here 5 years plus 10 power 3 i'll be having here also i'll be having s okay so i'm going to simplify this equation after simplification we'll be getting the current value is equal to 0.02 by s plus 1250 clear so if you want to want the calculation here it is 1 by s into 100 clear so that is equal to i by s into so 1 by 0.16 into 10 power minus 6 plus 5s plus 10 power 3 this is the equation okay now i'm going to take the lcm so what i'll be getting 1 by s 100 is equal to i by s so 1 plus here uh, point uh, 0.8 i'll be getting 10 power minus 3 i'll be getting divided by point 0.16 into 10 power minus 6 clear so i'm going to have a cancel here here i'll be having yes so 100 is equal to i into 1 plus 0.8 into 10 power minus 3 yes divided by 0.16 into 10 power minus 6 after cross multiplying that is i'll be finding the value of i here so after simplification i'll be getting i equal to 0 0.02 divided by s plus 1250 uh, so i'm going to take the uh, inverse uh, uh, laplace transform for this and i'll be getting i is equal to uh, 0 0.02 e power minus 1250 hands so the thing you need to remember is that how we need to convert the current to voltage source and voltage to current source that basic thing we need to remember so this two okay so how we need to convert the um, voltage source into current current source into voltage source this expression we need to convert it properly and same way here how we need to current the convert the voltage source into the current source if so this is a basic thing if you are understanding this basic thing it will be easy to solve uh, all the problems using the laplace transform thank you for watching so we'll continue in the next class